Another stitch that I would like to show you close up is the X and bar stitch that I use whenever I want to butt two seams together. I don't want, butt means that I don't want anything to overlap. Instead, they're just exactly right butted up against each other. Um, so to do this, I would, um, I'm going to do this at the back of the heel. I don't want the seam all the way to the top, so, um, so I don't want the seam stitched closed all the way to the top. So the foot can move a little easier. <clears throat> so I've put a piece of double-sided tape and push it down firmly, then um, tear off the paper part. So it's really important that if you're going to punch holes in both at the same time, that you have them exactly lined up with each other. That's why using the um, just temporary, but using the double-sided tape is a, really a big help. Then I make a line for my stitching slits to be punched, and I don't want these too far too far from the edge. And I'm using a, a compass with a pen in it so that you can can see what I'm doing. But I would usually if if this if I were going to cover it with the heel support piece, then of course it doesn't matter if I have pen lines. But if I'm if it's going to be exposed, then um, I would use a silver pen. So I'm punching holes. Okay, let I'll do one more set. Alright, so now I probably want to get rid of that uh, tape there. It's kind of sticky. Um, again, the natural crepe will take it off. Um, so now I want to stitch these two pieces together at the heel seam. So I've got my of black thread with harness needles at each end and so I'm just going to make a loop around these top slits so I'll do that again and uh, you'll see that it doesn't matter a lot that you get the threads exactly the same length you'll see why okay so I've got that secure I might you might even take it around another time, but I don't know what you'd really gain. Okay, so we're now going to now we're going to make a cross stitch, which I don't know if the days are over for young girls to make cross stitch samplers. They probably figured out some way to do that digitally. Um, so I'm going to take this thread that's on the left side of the seam and take it to the next slit down on the right side. And the key to getting this right is to each time bring your thread right back up to the top directly across from where it went in. And then you can let go of it. Now I'm going to take my other thread, go in the same slit that I just pulled the other thread up through. And that completes my X. And I've got an X there. And as I said before, immediately take it back up in the hole right across from it. And a good way to make sure you're doing the right thing is to uh, check the back side. You should see bars like this. And uh, some people, I, I like the bars too. I like them to be shown sometime in an interesting color. And um, if you put a thin strip of something, leather or felt or wool, then it's called couching and you can add some decoration that way. Now I've done the X, but this stitch is called X and bar. So I've learned that putting a bar at the bottom of the X makes it a lot more stable, a lot tighter stitch. So, so that you can take either thread and just go in 
to the slit opposite it and right back up. Now you've done the X and the bar, and uh, each time I would give a good tug, so it's seated nicely. Not overlapping, but right up tight against each other. Okay, so you can see why I said it's not that not important that you have your threads exactly the same length because one thread is going to be making that additional loop and you can always use the thread that's the longest to make the loop. It doesn't matter which one does it. So now another, we'll do one more stitch. So um, from the right side to the next slit down on the left and what did I say? I said bring it right back up and directly across from it. Then you can drop it. Take the other thread and make the other leg of the X. So I'm going in that slit where the thread just came out of. And again, I'm going to follow the directions, go right back up across from it. And I can take the one that's in my hand and um, make a loop around, down across from it, and then back up through the hole I just left. So, I've got another bar, pull it tight, and so I have a stitch to use any time that I want two pieces to be butted up against each other.